Alright guys, this is my mini 2020 channel. Um, I haven't been uploading for quite a while. It's been quite busy. And I've decided to change the channel content slightly. I've recently got a VW uh, T4 Caravel. I've just done five months of work on it, doing the bodywork and the repaint. And I, now I think it's time for the mecha mechanical side, getting the engine oil, uh, the coolant system flushed, power steering flushed and possibly the gearbox oil done as well so today we're going to start with the engine oil um, i have purchased an engine flush um, because the engine oil in this one is very very dirty i thought i'm going to go the extra mile i'm going to try and get it very clean uh, before i put the clean stuff in so this removes oil deposits and sludge freeze valves and sticking engine parts and it says on the bottle to use with every engine every oil change now the instructions for use for this uh, you, you have to make sure the engine oil is at a safe level before you even proceed uh, the engine has to be warm for, the, for this to start working and you have to add the entire contents of 300 ml bottle into the uh, into the engine there so why don't we go ahead and start doing that so I've got my key, we're going to start the engine, like so. Make sure it idles up for about 10 to 20 minutes. If the engine's already warm, but I'm going to warm it up a little bit more. This one has 196 889 miles on the clock. It's a 2.4 non-turbo diesel. It's a 1994 long wheelbase. And like I say, it's the Caravelle model of the transporter. Because it's a it's a it's basically like a car. Um, it has nine seats inside. It's made, made to carry people, the people carrier. Let's take a closer look at the engine. Now I've already fitted a brand new battery into here. I do like the sound of that, that's quite quite a nice sounding diesel engine. It just ticks over perfectly. So we'll just go ahead and let it let it idle for quite a while before I put the uh, engine flush in. Now the contents for the oil change today will be we have a boa constrictor oil filter wrench and I praise these things, they are so easy to use and it's rubber and you can adjust it to any length you want it'll do most vehicles I use these on buses and they're quite big filters you have a socket set I've already got 17 mil ready with a ratchet some blue roll our oil for today will be 10W40 um, it's VW501.01 to 505.00 approved um, and it's a semi-synthetic I went for. I've got two of those. They're, they're five litres each, so I've got ten litres, so I'm going to have a bit spare, which is what I wanted. I've got some gloves from a petrol station. We've got a drainer, which is quite a good one. A sil silver line, which makes life easier. We have copper washers. Uh, I reckon we're going to need one of those or one of those, so I bought the whole pack just in case. A breaker bar, a little brush to clean up the, um, the bolts or nuts, 
or the sub, for example, and a copper hammer. We've got two sleepers, one there or one there, and then we'll go ahead and drive the vehicle on top on top of the sleepers now. So we're going to go ahead and put this engine plus in the engine now. So it's been about five minutes since the engine flush went in. We'll do a quick, slight rev, um, just to aid its cleaning process. That'll do for now, carry on for another 15 minutes of idling, I'll do another slight rev in the next 10 minutes, um, and yeah we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, start taking the oil out. Alright guys, yeah it's been about 15 minutes since the uh, engine has been idling, so we'll do another slight rev, just to help its cleaning process. That should do it, we've got another five minutes and then I'll switch it off and we'll go down, down underneath the engine and start doing the oil change. This is it, 20 minutes later, we're going to switch off the engine. The fan's on, it got quite warm, but we made it. Now, doing this sort of a job, the oil is very hot, you're supposed to drain it as soon as uh, as soon as you, you, you switch the engine off just because it, it needs to flush 
with the engine flush that you've just put in it. So that it will be quite dangerous, that's going to be quite hot. Uh, you just have to be careful when you do it. We'll get a drain in underneath. We've got a ratchet with a 17mm socket. Take a hammer down, down there just in case you need to hammer the socket in place if it's stiff and possibly a breaker bar because it might be it might be testing us a brush to clean off the sump plug um, and maybe some blue roll and that so basically all the tools you need straight downstairs there we go let's try and get underneath what a sunny day, lovely. So this is it. This is some plug. Um, yes. Let's get cracking. Should we find a good place to put this camera. Maybe here. Yeah. Oh, maybe here. Probably good enough. Get stuck on this car, but it? Oh yes. Clean it up a little bit. Got quite a bit of grime around it, and grits and all sorts. Get ready for this. And we're back. Let's slow down with the dripping. We're gonna get our sump plug and put it back on. The next on the list to do will be taking the oil filter out. So we should go ahead and start doing that now. Let it drain for a bit. So it's in a way, really. There he goes. Oh, that's quite hot. That is quite hot. Our next challenge is to get the oil filter itself, a brand new one. I've gone for a Bosch 
because um, I, I do believe Bosch is very good. It's a, it's a German brand, and I always use Bosch. Now. Get our engine oil, and we're going to start pouring it in. We're only going to go about halfway to three quarters of the way because a uh, oil filter sits on an angle. It, you're going to have a lot of leaks if you fill it full. to do now is a bit, bit of oil on your finger and then put it on the seal don't have to be a lot that'll do We're going to take this straight underneath and then fit it. It only has to be hand tight, it doesn't have to be Superman's strength. Because they don't take a lot of torque at all. And the next step is to put the engine oil in there. We'll go for about four and a half litres. Since we put about um, 0.5 litres in the oil filter, that will make five. We'll take the vehicle down off the ramps, off the sleepers, and then let it idle for a couple of minutes, switch the engine off, we'll double check the dipstick, see what the level, it, level is, and then top up as, re as required. Now this is the critical part. So here we go, this is the startup and the reverse procedure. Let's idle for a bit and then switch the engine off and recheck our level. Right, we're just going to check the engine oil again. So 
worry about this much. Still not enough. So this is the first time I'm changing an oil in this vehicle. So whilst I'll do this once, second time will be much easier. Now, like I was saying, I got quite a lot of things to do in this car. Uh, the next one will probably be, um, I'll sh I can show you how to pressurize your header tank, your cooling system, to see if there's any leaks. Now, I found I got a leak um, coming from the coolant flange, which I've, I've got a replacement. That'll be another video of how to replace that. Then I pressurized the cooling system, and I found that there's a leak coming from the radiator. So rather than replacing the radiator, I'm going to go for the K-seal, um, which is supposed to be a permanent fixture, and it's a liquid. It finds any cracks, uh, any source of leak, and it seals it. So I'm going to give that a go. It only costs £12, 12 pounds compared to £45 pounds for a new rad. That'll be on a video, and I, I, can, uh, I can review that over a long period of time to see if there's any, any problems with doing that sort of a thing. Um, power steering fluid needs changing and flushing so I'll be doing that uh, apart from that we've got drive shafts um, the CV boots are worn and cracked there's uh, they've been like that for quite a while a lot of dirt have gone in there so all the grease is washed out so I need to be taken taken care of ASAP uh, like I said I've got a new battery on there because the vehicle wouldn't start and I've done a whole repaint on it and I've done the bodywork um, sorted out the rust rust proof that it still needs rust proofing for the under seal and, and the body of the vehicle um, that might be another video um, other than that I've got quite a lot lined up to uh, to video and film please bear with me I'm on I'm trying to um, to film on my own as I'm doing a job which might take take a while or it might look a bit silly but uh, I'm only learning and I ho hopefully you're going to enjoy the content and yeah subscribe to the channel like the videos and comment if you comment I will react to your comments if you've got any questions ask me anything uh, I might know something I'll let you know I'll reply to you